Yo, what up boys? Welcome back to part three of the Marketplace series. I just want to go over, we're closing out year eight right now. So I just want to kind of go over what the Marketplace is looking like, uh, just closing out the end of the year, and then what it's going to kind of transition to as we proceed into year nine. So yeah, I mean, this video is kind of going to be based off of like what I've been doing uh, to obviously accumulate a balance and stuff like that and purchases I've been making because uh, I've been getting a lot of people asking me what I've been doing and kind of how do I get my balance prepared for year nine and stuff like that. So yeah, I can try to answer most of the questions in the video today. So starting off from the top, um, I can kind of go over what my transactions have been in the past couple of weeks. Um, I know a lot of people are curious on like the easiest ways to kind of flip flip your items and then get currency from them and stuff like that and just create a balance. So I can kind of show what I've been doing. So I went over this in the last video. Well, we can ignore the glacier first. So I went over this in the last one and part two where I was kind of doing like a system where I would kind of sell all of my useless uniforms and headgear that I didn't really use anymore. And then I'd just sell them for cheap and then just kind of repeat this process over and over and over. So I mean, as you guys can see, I'll, I can scroll down to like, let me scroll down to like early February here. So you guys can see like I was selling castle uniforms for about 200 same thing with like the blitz uniform right here like these are all legendaries but honestly i'm never going to run them because of the competitive rules and guidelines so this to me was kind of just like sitting in my account just kind of sitting there doing nothing um so yeah i just took the cash on literally everything like this and if you go into your account you can look at these filters and use the same filters that i use to sell all your stuff um this is just like completely unwanted junk for me and honestly most of this stuff is going to recycle too. Like these, I'm not sure what the season was when they dropped or like what the event is actually called, but these, these cycle in every year. So I'm pretty sure this event is going to be coming back in April. Uh, let me look at it right now. So what I've been doing is kind of just like taking some of the filters. I mean, this is the first filter that I kind of went through to like sell all my useless stuff. It's just the, the events right now. There's only five events in the, in the marketplace, which when the game when the marketplace kind of goes to full peak and everything kind of drops in here, there's going to be close to like 20 events, right? So I've kind of just been going through each event individually and just selling a bunch of skins that I've had from these events that honestly just don't do anything. I haven't really gone to the gun skins yet because in my opinion, these are going to be rarer than like the actual uniforms. The uniforms are kind of whatever. And then if I want to run one of these gun skins, say like this Fink LMG one, if the LMGs come back, which they're supposed to next season, this gun skin could hypothetically like increase in price so like this malusi one same thing this is from the apocalypse series a free 120 credits just for free same thing with this gridlock one it's literally just the same apocalypse uniform it's just like gonna be useless for me it's not gonna do anything so i post it for the le the cheapest buy it now price so i can kind of go over this again it's just really simple like it's kind of what i'm doing here as well these are all old battle pass skins but i'm just like going through them slowly and selling them what you want to do is you want to go click either apocalypse you can go to let's just say the teddy conflict this is going to i think re-release in april which is coming up in next month so you can take this attachment skin for example right now it's going for 600 and then last sold for 800 and so i mean you can literally just sell these if for example i can take this like air 33 skin i'm never going to use this honestly so like there's no point in me just holding on to it. And there's only 79 sale orders. So what you want to do is you want to just check a sale order that's like around the two digit margin. If you take a sale order that's around two digits, I promise you it's if you put it at the like the cheapest uh, current price range, so like 120, this would be the same idea. You just place the order and I, t I promise you things are going to sell. Like it, it doesn't seem like a good, doesn't seem like a good way to get it currency in theory but it, i don't know why it just always sells like you can look at all the stuff that i've sold like i've just sold i'm selling my mission blacksmiths like battle pass skins from i don't even know like the no one runs these right like these are just horrible but they sell like it doesn't make sense but there's only 13 of them on the market so just like the supply and demand there's so little supply that even like the one person demanding it it's, it's gonna sell like it's Kind of the same thing with like terminal framework these are from the bravo packs this year i mean if you've like opened a bravo pack before you know you're not going to want to get this because this is like not a good skin but it sells like you can just sell it for the minimum and take the credits so yeah i mean it's the same thing here with like your your mission blacksmith headgear for valkyrie it's like 200 credits that i posted it and it sells every time so you can just slowly start accumulating your balance and making it higher and higher and higher but now getting on to what i want to do closing on to your eight so i actually did my first flip. I bought the AR33 Glacier for 15,000 credits um, two weeks back. And obviously you have to keep in mind when you are buying or flipping a skin in the marketplace, there's a two week cap on when you can repost that and sell it again. So you have to keep that in mind. Yeah, you can't do daily trades or flips like that. It's going to take some time. So you have to kind of like 
read the market and then buy a low and sell it high. So this is the tip I'm going to give to you guys. So when your nine opens for everyone, which should be this Tuesday, um, it should be March 12th. I think what is going to happen, what has been rumored all over Twitter and all, everything like that is the marketplace is going to drop out of beta and it's going to be in open access for everybody. So that means that every single skin on the marketplace is going to plummet immediately on that first day because because in theory there's going to be everyone's going to be able to sell what they had right so when it drops on tuesday all these prices are going to be extremely low so if you're looking for a flip you want to do it on tuesday because that's when supposedly this is going to be out of beta and then dropped for full release so then there's going to be more supply for across the board of everything you're going to have more supply of all the glaciers you're going to have supply of the gold dust all these random head years and stuff like that in theory there should be more supply so if you're looking to do a flip that's the day you want to do it on um, that was the same thing that happened on the last wave when it dropped. I think it was about a couple Wednesdays ago. It should be two weeks back. They started re-rolling out the patch, like the second patch and second wave for the marketplace for everyone. And then immediately on that Wednesday, you then see the dip in the trend with all the everything on the marketplace. So I'm expecting that same pattern to happen on the 12th when it happens on the Tuesday. But obviously you have to take it with a grain of salt because it's not uh, it's not clear cut. All right, so after showing you guys how to make some easy cash on the low end skins, I just want to make the end of the video pretty clear on uh, what the transition is going to be looking like between year eight and year nine. The biggest point I want to make is right now it's pretty unknown of uh, what's going to happen with the marketplace. However, I will say this, it moved extremely quickly. On that first day it dropped in the beta, I think it was January 28th was the exact day or 29th. The skins that were dropped were extremely cheap on the day. That first day, I remember I got the beta key access, I bought my crossfader for 4,000. I bought all my pilot programs that were extremely cheap and all the other skins like that, etc. So I wanna make it abundantly clear that on March 12th, when year nine officially drops for everybody, keep your eyes peeled because and I'm not saying it's for certain it's going to drop for everyone and it's going to get pulled out of beta, but it has been rumored on Twitter and other various resources have started to confirm it that it's very possible that as soon as year nine begins, it's out of the beta. And then when it goes out of the beta, that's when I've also heard the new skins are going to start being implemented. So if you got my skin right here on the gun that I'm running around with right here, this is Onami. You guys will probably know this skin. Um, this is like one of the rare skins in the entire game. Skins like this could slowly just start popping up on the marketplace, and when they do, I guarantee you the first day when they drop, they're going to be cheap. They're going to be much cheaper than anticipated. You, know, you guys need to act extremely fast. As soon as they come out, you need to try to buy it as soon as you want it, if you want that skin. If you have a skin in mind that you really want, or you're kind of waiting for it to drop, just keep your eyes peeled for the 12th. This, this is just kind of like a conclusion for your 8 that it, it kind of dropped in year eight season four and it was really nice but now we're going to the new season and it could just go awol um on that tuesday and yeah for example again this gun skin as well that i'm running is called piranha i'm sure a lot of you guys who are pretty involved in r6 or know know about this skin as well this is one of the most sought after ones in the game and like i said with onami this could drop hypothetically in three days on the marketplace and not everyone would know so i want i want to make it very clear that if you guys are watching this video you guys are obviously involved in the skins in some aspect and you want to get involved just keep your eyes peeled for that day and keep your eyes peeled for this week coming up this could get really hectic really like really crazy really quickly so yeah i just want to give a heads up to everyone involving it so concluding with this video, let me know what you guys are doing down below in the comments. Uh, if you're flipping any skins of your own, if you're buying glaciers and trying to sell them for more, or if you're trying to just increase your balance in general, let me know some tips and tricks that you guys have been doing that's been working for you. I would say the biggest methods that I've kind of been doing have just been like the two methods. One, I've just been selling all my cheap stuff, just like kind of clearing out my account and just trying to accumulate a balance off of just kind of trash items and stuff like that. And at the same time, trying to flip high-end skins and buy them on a release day, such as like when the second wave dropped, for when all the people who get the marketplace brand new are going to have that extra supply, they're going to sell them for cheaper, and then waiting a couple weeks and then flipping them for like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 more credits down the line, and then obviously just continuing that process. So let me know what you guys have been doing, and uh, hopefully everyone's here is hyped for year nine. I know I am. I know the ACOX is coming back, so that'll be really fun to play with. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys go get your skins. Hope you all have a good day, and uh, yeah, I'll see you. Peace out.